Let me see. Attention. The test makes use of research-based research inventory for measuring racism. It does not advocate the adoption of negative attitudes towards non-whites. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. I really dislike how they already started this with, in quotations, non-whites. So weird. Bro, this is too much reading. What is this, chat? It may sometimes be necessary for Western governments to detain or investigate non-whites for action that would not arouse suspicion if done by white people. What? What is this? The test is racist. Well, yeah, that's stupid. Why would you detain somebody based off the color of their skin? No. It is offensive to suggest that all people of the same non-white ethnicity look alike. I.e. that all black people look alike, that all Asians look alike. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? It's okay to portray non-whites in commercial as acting subservently towards whites what does this word mean chat subservently like nice like servants wait what <laughs> why are they so extreme with this chat who are the what the what is this this questioning so is it okay for non-whites and commercial commercials as acting no it's no, it's, it's not okay. In commercials? California University? As below them? Implying the other way around is okay. Is it offensive to ask non-whites if they can teach you sports that people of their race have traditionally been good at? If black people can teach you basketball, if Asians can uh, teach people martial arts, this quest, this test is racist. What the? This test is racist. I mean, purposefully seeking a black person to teach you about basketball is probably racist, but asking just any person and it so happens to be that it's a black person to teach you about basketball that's not racist this makes me not racist right is it okay to assume that the kitchens and restaurants owned by non-whites are generally dirtier than the kitchens oh my lord what the hell chat i'm gonna get banned what is this test what the uh, what is that? Do people actually do this though? Owned by whites. First of all, I don't like how they use non-whites, but they have no issue saying whites. Flip the script. Flip the script. Do you know what I mean? Like flip it. Add blacks here and add non-blacks here. People would lose their fucking shit if that was the case. This test is so dumb. This is a test for whites to show how racist they are. You gotta say white with the H. What? <laughs> oh my god. Let me see. Is it okay to assume that uh, kitchens and restaurants owned by non-whites are generally dirtier? No, it's... Wait, is it okay? No, it's not okay. Is it okay to make jokes about the food that is served in restaurants owned by non-whites? Oh, my lord, chat. What are the... What did they say? Wait, dog meat in Asian rest... What the hell is this test? Oh, my lord. I, can, I don't know if I can continue this test. This is too much, man. Well, chat, my, my real answer to this would be that 
jokes are jokes, bro. What I would really like to say is that I don't give a fuck, you know? As a Mexican myself, I wouldn't I wouldn't give a fuck if people are making fuck jokes of my culture and stuff. Like who cares? You know, they're at the end of the day jokes. Now, if you are trying to be offensive, it, th that's a different question. If you're being offensive and you have hatred behind your actions, that is a whole different thing. But I'ma always be in the mindset of jokes are jokes. Everybody does these types of jokes. And if you don't do these types of jokes, it's cause you might be racist yourself. <laughs> That's crazy though, but like everybody does these sort of jokes, you know? I'm gonna be in the middle of this one. I don't care. It's a joke. It's okay to portray minorities and commercials as being bad at English. I mean, it depends if it's, if it fits the context of the commercial, then yes, it's okay. It's kind of like movies, right? Is it okay for movies to have um, a Mexican actor that fits the role? And is it okay to portray them as not knowing perfect English? Yes, it's perfectly acceptable in a commercial setting and commercials as well. Yeah, I think it's, it depends on how it's done. A lot of this is very uh, context matters, but I'm gonna go with in the middle of this. Is it okay to assume that people mostly have friends that share their own ethnicity? Well, it's true though. I mean, I guess assuming is always wrong and you don't want to say to somebody, hey, um, do you mostly have Asian friends to an Asian? That's probably not okay verbiage, but people usually like to hang around with their own ethnicities. It's true though. Like if you ask, if you go, if you go to high school, right? The Asians hang with the Asians. The white people hang with the white people. You know, the Mexicans with the Mexicans, that's normal. As a non-white, I only hang out with whites. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you wouldn't ask that shit. You wouldn't assume it because it does make you seem weird. But it is very, f it, it is based on factual evidence that people prefer to hang out with um, circles that make them feel more comfortable is with their own ethnicity. Uh, so they don't even have the right answer here. The right answer is it is not okay to uh, vocalize it, but it is okay to assume that a Mexican would probably want to hang out with more Mexicans and um, a black person would probably want to hang out with more black people. Same thing with Asians. That is oh, that is an accurate thing. I'm going to be in the middle for this because I, I just they don't have the proper answer there. Is it okay to portray a non-white character in TV shows as speaking poor or heavily accented English? Again, it depends on the context. Yeah, it depends on the context and stuff because there are different ways that people, you know, talk. You know, there's a different, there's cultural differences and a way of upbringing and how people talk in certain areas. There's accents. There, like if you film a show, if in the Queens, New York Queens, right, or. Like, there is a certain way that people talk from that area. Same thing for like, you know, um, like Boston, there's accents. There's, di there's different ways, or I don't know if you want to call it di dialect or accent. There is just different way people speak. So if you're going to film a show about the Queens, you're not going to put some a weird pinky in the air suburban accent for a show shot about the queens you know what i mean that's just it makes no sense i think it's okay if the show calls for it yeah yeah like you're not gonna shoot a show about going um to mexico or the northern border and then have somebody speak proper fucking English in the northern border of Mexico and um, the US. Bitch, of course, you're gonna have 
you're gonna have poorly fucking delivered English accent because that's what you have at the border. So it is okay to do that, in my opinion. Is it offensive to ask non-whites where they really from? <laughs> Uh, well, the way they worded this, where are you really from? Yeah, that's, that's stupid wording. Who the fuck asked that? This is a fucking, is this a test for the tism? For autism? Yeah, you're not going to ask it that way. Where are you really from, Ellie? Yeah. But I mean, if you ask, hey, where are you from? To like someone that could appear um, Hispanic, that is a proper question. Or someone who is Asian, you can ask them, hey, where are you from? That is fine. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stay in the middle with this one. Again, they don't have the proper option there. Is it offensive to tell non-whites that they speak English so well? <laughs> um, well, depends who you're talking to. If you're talking to a Hispanic, I don't know. No, I don't, I don't find that offensive. But it depends on the context as well. It depends on who you're telling that to. Like if you know that they're Hispanic already, right? And then you say that they speak English so well, then that's acceptable. If you know that they're Mexican and from Mexico, and that you tell, like me, and that you tell me, hey, you speak English so well, that's not offensive. I'm gonna stay in the middle. Racism in Western countries is mostly a thing of the past. <clears throat> no, that's a disagreement, a strong disagreement. Racism will always be a thing in the West, and it's still a thing in the West. Uh, racism in the West countries is mostly a thing of the past. Comparing it to olden times, to where we are now in life, I'll slightly disagree. Yeah, we have have come a long way. So a lot of racism is gone, but there's still a lot of racism. And I don't think it will ever be this way. This will never be the case. This and this and this will never be the case. I think this is as good as it's ever gonna get for racism in the West. It is okay to assume non-whites live up to their racial stereotypes. <laughs> Black people are good at sports, Asians are good at math. What is it a stereotype about Mexicans, chat? That we like beans? I like beans. Is it okay to assume non-whites live up to their racial stereotype? It's never okay to assume. White people have a duty to educate themselves on the racist actions of their forebears. Dude, if you answer disagree, you're, you're, you're gonna be looked at as a racist. But I disagree. Just because I hate history. <laughs> I hate history. Uh, I don't think it's anybody's duty to do anything. I think it's everybody's duty to just be a nice person in general. I don't think you need to look at your fucking history. Just be a nice person. I don't really think minorities in the West were historically the target of racist actions. I don't even get this question. Can somebody rephrase this question? Say minorities weren't a target of racism. No, minorities have definitely been the target of racism. So I should put, um, I should disagree, right? If I think that definitely minorities have been targeted, I should disagree, yeah, right? Oh no, yeah, I fucking disagree big time. Minorities, to this day, are still the target of racist actions. It is legitimate for Western countries to impose stricter immigration restrictions on people for, from a non-white countries than they do for immigrants from white countries. What? <laughs> what? No. Everyone should have the same um, restrictions in general. I disagree. But again, this might be more political and something that I'm not really well versed in, but just taking it as surface value, I disagree. Is it okay to ask non-whites if they only, if they know a friend, coworker, or classmate 
of yours who is of the same race as they are. I mean, that's not bad. You already, by asking this question, you already assume that asking somebody a question like that is racist. It's not racist. Ellie, do you know any other Mexican? Could some people use that as a racist thing? Sure, but not all of those instances are racist, you know? And I, for the most part, I think it's okay to ask that. If you are in a workspace, right? And you have different sectors and you have a friend named Hector on the third floor and the person that you're talking to is named Miguel. It's okay to ask Miguel, who you're currently having a conversation. Hey, do you know Hector from third floor? That's okay. And that's not racist. Because there might be some question and line of question there or something, you know? It's kind of, wait, you find that weird? I don't find that weird at all. If you have a, a legitimate follow-up question. So we're going to leave it in the middle because I don't, I don't think that's weird. It, it could be weird if you are doing it the other way around deliberately for some racist agenda. Yeah. Is it okay to portray non-whites in Western movies in accordance with the racial stereotypes? Arabs prone to violence? What? I didn't even know that was a stereotype. Asians as non-assertive? Oh my god. This test is so racist. They are edu they're educating me on stereotypes that I didn't even know were a thing, dude. Is it okay to portray non-white movies according to the racial stereotypes? No. It's not okay. Western history books should take care to stress the con contributions of non-whites to Western civilization. Well, I mean, if they're going to teach history, they should definitely teach proper history, and that involves anything. If non-white people contribute something to Western civilization, it should definitely be a part of the Western history books. Yeah, just like any other history, though. History books used to leave that stuff out? Well, yeah, that's stupid. If it's part of history, you should definitely add it. Ain't no one reading the textbook anyways. That's just silly. We're gonna leave it here in the middle. It, it is offensive to suggest to non-whites that they look like celebrities who share their ethnicity, that Asian people look like Bruce Lee, or that black people look like Will Smith. Well, that's not offensive. I don't find that offensive. Like, what are you gonna say? I'm about to hit nine. I'm just super racist. That's not offensive though. Like, if a person looks like somebody, they look like somebody. What are you gonna say? Uh, if, 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 a, if a chick looks like a Barbara Streisand, are you just like not? I mean, you. I guess you cannot at, say it at all, sure, but like, if you're hanging with your homies or your friends or with somebody new in the circle, you'd be like, hey, you know who you remind me of? You look like Barbara Streisand. Or hey, you look like, um, you look like Will Smith. If he looks like Will Smith, you can say that. There's a bunch of instances where people are like, hey, you know who you remind me of? You look like Denzel Washington. What, what, what is racist about that? I think if you find any of this offensive, I think your bitch ass is racist. No, that is some reverse racism shit. If you do find a lot of these things offensive, you need to get checked because you might be the woke agenda of 2024. You might be the new racist. That's what I'm saying. I disagree. I don't think it's offensive. So here we go, chat. Here is my racism test. This makes you three... 3.19% uh, less prone to general racism than the average person. 4.27 more prone to socio-historical racism than the average person. 5.7 less prone to perpetual foreign racism than the average person. And 1.1 less prone to racism than average person overall. So I'm pretty much neutral. So I'm kind of like, I don't care about race. Hey, let's go. This is the, actually the best you kind of want to have as a result. 
I, that means that I'm pretty much kind of neutral. This was hard for me to get through, by the way. This test is fucking stupid. This fucking test is stupid. No, you're basically at the average. What, I'm an average racist? <laughs> is that what it's saying? Correct. I'll take it. Fuck. But, uh, you know what? It's wrong. You know why? Because I am a minority. Minorities can't be racist. And I guarantee you that the people who wrote this test also agree with that narrative. If you are a minority, you can't be racist. So I'm a minority. I can't be racist, chat. I win. Checkmate. Hey, YouTube. Yeah, you. YouTube, you know that the success of this channel relies heavily on you. Viewers like you. By hitting the comment, like, and subscription button, you help me really, 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 really a bunch. More than you ever know. You could even put it on mute and walk away, you know, or lower the volume and walk away. But all the success of this channel relies on you. And I'm very thankful if you hit the comment, like, and subscription button. Also, follow my social medias. Twitter. My Twitter, I put out new art and new stuff. If you want to see more of this... Follow me everywhere. Twitch everywhere, everywhere. I give you my permission, my consent. Go, go. Now, um, hit the follow, comment, like, subscribe, Twitter, Twitch, everything. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.